What's up guys, this is Jamie bringing you more Black Ops multiplayer gameplay and of course once again New Town Team Deathmatch which is a pretty common source of gameplay on my channel. This time though I'm using the MPO Rapid Fire which is a gun that I recently started using and it's a pretty deadly gun at close quarters so um, it's really good to use on maps like New Town and Firing Range and I recommend to you guys to use it in, because it's really deadly at close quarters it um, is just a complete spray of bullets and it kills really quick I would um, pair it with steady aim as I am in this video because when you're at close quarters with someone and you just want to pull the trigger before they do you can just hit fire. I know it's a bit newbie, but it does the job well. So you just hit fire and they die like really quickly. Um, not the best of starts, but that's quite common in my videos. It does improve later on, and I get quite a lot later on, and I get quite a lot of kills. Um, although I do get quite a few deaths as well. I don't know how I didn't see that guy who killed me there. Sometimes I watch my videos on theatre and I'm just thinking how the hell did I not see that guy there in the corner of my screen and I just walk past him um, sometimes you're just completely concentrating on something else in the game and you're not, you don't spot the guy who's just in the corner of your screen there anyway, um, perks in this game Ghost, um, Steady Aim and Hacker Pro which I started using because I just recently unlocked Hacker Pro. About Hacker Pro, I believe Hacker is the best um, tier 3 perk to use, it's like the most helpful. Um, the challenges for Hacker Pro, there's one that's get 25 kills of Claymore or C4, and I completed that challenge by that round level, rather 30, and in this gameplay I am. Um, level 41 so then I started using motion sensor to do the near equipment kills to get 25 kills when there's an enemy near your motion sensor or jammer and I did that in like a couple of levels so I've started using motion sensor as I now believe it is better than claymores like I'll probably keep using claymores when I have a sniper rifle because it's harder to kill them at close quarters them. That was a kind of failure. I noticed some guy just blew himself up with a RCXD. Mistakes are made. Um, so yeah, motion sensor. I started using that now. It is um, pretty good because it especially helps when you're in a two-story building, like for example the houses in Newtown, and it will show you where the enemies are in you where the enemies are in both upstairs and downstairs in the building so you can uh, pretty much know exactly where everyone is in the whole building although if there's other players with, like me who use Hacker Pro Hacker Pro does make you invisible to motion sensors so yeah I might have to be careful anyway So in this game I was running around quite a lot, not really taking an awful lot of caution. I quite often like camp a bit in my videos in all my games really. Um, even on close quarters map maps like Neat Town. Um, but in this game, yeah, I got quite a lot of kills, quite a lot of deaths. Because I was just running around and just trying to shoot everyone who I saw really. No, that failed. It's really annoying in Neatown when you're just like in a house overlooking the middle of the um, map and then there's people spawning behind you in the back garden um, taking, um, getting you unaware. Like you don't know they're coming and then suddenly they'll just pop out behind you and shoot you. The spawns aren't very good in Neatown. 
sometimes I just like sitting in the corner of one of the gardens and there's um, enemies spawning on the other opposite side of the garden so um, it is annoying if you get spawn trapped which does happen quite often but it's still a fun map I enjoy playing on it and I always vote for it when it comes up like many people do once I saw it get 12 votes in a team deathmatch lobby like everyone voted for Newtown And the MPL, if it's it's not an awful um, popular gun, I don't see it used very often at all. Um, it's not got the best iron sights; they're not extremely accurate. Although that's why I use steady aim because it really helps um, for close quarters. And um, even when using rapid fire, there's not too much recoil from the gun. There's not very much recoil with um, this gun. And it's the same story with other submachine guns like I like the PM63 and the Kiparis. They are both um, good submachine guns with little recoil. Now this is a funny kill with the crossbow finishing him off after running out of ammo. Um, the crossbow is my secondary weapon for most of my classes and I do find it pretty good at long range. <laughs> that failed so bad. <laughs> oh that just makes me laugh. I, uh, I don't know how that guy didn't see me. I knifed him twice and then because I've got a really spaggy controller it switches to motion sensor sometimes or to claim or whatever I have as my equipment and it's really annoying sometimes but that was just funny. I don't know how he didn't see me. But anyway, yeah. Um, final score, 34 kills, 18 deaths. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed that rather mad game.